What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and welcome back for another episode of Free From Fab, where I review the free for a short time assets off of Fab. Every two weeks, Fab offers three different asset packs free of charge, and whether you're a budding indie game developer or a 3D artist, or just someone who wants to add to their library of assets, these are most definitely worth checking out. In this video, I'll give you a brief rundown of what's included in this Fortnite's free asset packs, as well as share a few of my own thoughts on their utility and their quality. But just before we get started, guys, if you like what we do here at Pitchfork Academy, the number one way to support the channel is by picking up our new game, Skyblocker, which is available now on Steam for just 10 bucks. It's a fun 3D arcade style puzzle game where you stack blocks as high as you can while battling the elements and gravity to try and earn your place on the global online leaderboards. But without further ado, let's take a look at these assets. Alrighty guys, now as you can see here, these asset packs are free on FAB until June 17 at 9.59 Eastern Time. And once again, we've got some really cool stuff here, so I do recommend picking these up while they are free. This fortnight, we've got the Brushify Desert Mountains Pack by Joe Garth, the Ultimate Spell System by Rise Code, and the Sci-Fi Troopers Collection by Promax Studio. So first, let's jump on in and have a look at the Brushify Desert Mountains Pack. In previous episodes of Free From Fab, guys, I've said that we've been eating well with regards to free environment packs. And this Fortnite is no exception because one of these free asset packs is none other than the Brushify Desert Mountains Pack by Joe Garth. If you guys are not familiar with Joe Garth, he has a range of these Brushify packs. This is one of many, and these are some of the best environment packs and auto landscape materials out there. These asset packs have almost too many features to list, but the headlines are you've got this ready-made level that's nanite and lumen compatible, there's alpha brushes, distance meshes for optimization, and the Brushify landscape auto material, just to name a few. And as you can see here, guys, the quality is absolutely outstanding, as it is with all of the Brushify products. The realism is absolutely off the charts, and even in this example level, with all the stops pulled out, the performance is still pretty good. I also jumped over into the painting mode in the landscape editor, and I was very impressed by the detail in some of these material layers on the landscape material some of which even use the PCG to spawn some of these static meshes. Very cool stuff indeed. There's really not that much more to say about this one, guys. The Brushify quality is absolutely off the charts. All of the textures in here are 8K, and we are very, very lucky to be able to pick up one of these free from Fab this fortnight, so I highly recommend grabbing this one today. And next up, we have the Ultimate Spell System by Rise Code. It says here, the Ultimate Spell System is an advanced magic system that enriches your gameplay with dynamic and exciting elements. This system incorporates several features that add depth and strategic thinking to your gaming experience. It boasts features such as a cooldown system, one simple component, casting spells system, charging effect, setting animations for each spell, and a widget displaying health and mana, all spells and their cooldowns. It supports single and multiplayer, and has six sample spells and seven sample character animations. And guys, while these animations and these particle effects leave a little to be desired, I do believe they are just placeholders, because there is actually quite a lot going on in the nuts and bolts of these systems. So it's not just this spell casting system that does have a lot going on, such as cooldowns and mana costs, but there's also a character leveling system, which is another component, which you can quite easily add to your character, and there's quite a bit going on there as well. So once again, guys, while it doesn't look amazing, the systems at play here are most definitely worth looking into if you're creating some kind of RPG that uses magic or a leveling system or is multiplayer. 
and perhaps this could be integrated with the gameplay ability system somehow. So yeah, if this is something that is relevant to your project, pick it up on Fab while it is free. Lastly, we have the Sci-Fi Troopers Collection by Pro Max Studio. It's described as rigged but not animated Sci-Fi Troopers Collection for your Sci-Fi projects. And it says here you can use Material Instance to create your own color masks. Its technical features are two materials for best quality, top and bottom. 4K PBR textures, examples of material instances, and game-ready starter pawns. It's rigged to the epic skeleton, and there's four characters, but they only include some sample animations. They are not properly animated. I think these character models are kind of cool, and I don't know about you, but for some reason these put me in mind of XCOM. They do have a slightly stylized look, and as you can see here, you can slap all kinds of funky colors on them. But I'm sure if you kept the colors dark, like with blacks and grays, these characters would look pretty cool. The pack comes with this controller example level where you can possess these different characters and switch between random ones by pressing tab. And the setup of these characters is pretty rudimentary, but it is good nonetheless to see them controlled and working like so all in all guys if this kind of stylized sci-fi trooper character is something you could use in your projects you should 100 percent grab this asset pack while it's free from fab and that's going to be it for this episode guys if this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever please hit like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one